Link makes it simple to query XML from files and string variables. In this lesson, I'll show you how to extract data out of an XML file and an XML string. So let's read an XML file into an X document. The file would be here in C test, test123, and it looks like this. Declaration, customers, and then customer elements, each with a first name, last name, and age. So the way we do that is simply X document, and you'll have to bring in system XML link. X doc equals X document, and then load. Remember the at sign so that you can type in the single backslashes. Test, test one, two, three, XML. And then let's just print this like that. Simple enough. And we get the same file that we just saw. So now that is in our X document. Now we can query it very nicely with link. So again, the var, implicit typing. We'll get all the young customers out of the document from C and X doc elements. And we want the elements customers. There's only going to be one of those. And then we'll get all the elements inside that customer. And there will be many of those. So now we have all of those elements and we can say where. We have to cast this integer, the age is less than 30, for instance. And then you always have to say select C. So now we have young customers. Now young customers is of type I enumerable, so we can enumerate over it. So we'll just say young customer, young customers. And for instance, we'll get the first name out. First name equals young customer, the element and first name and the value of that element. So I'm doing control C, control V, control V again. This will be the last name and it'll get the last name element and this will be the age and it'll get the age element. But of course, since age is an integer, we want to define it as an integer, but then we'll have to do something here because the age is coming back as a string. So we can say convert to integer 32 and now it is an integer. And now let's just display it, or each one, I mean. And we'll do last name, first name, and their age with last name, first name, and age. So if we run that, we have the three customers' data now displayed on our screen. So that's how to get data from an XML file. Now I'll show you how to get data from an XML string. So now let's read data out of an XML string. The XML string, let's say, is like this. We have a files element, and inside each file element, we have two property elements, name and size. So how are we going to get this out? It's basically like with the customers above, but instead of load, we use parse for a string. So that would look like this, x document x doc2 equals x document parse, and then XML, the name of the string. And then we want to get each of the file elements out. So we can say var files, that's going to be I enumerable, so we can iterate through it with for each from f, as in file, in x doc2 elements. And the element that we want is file. So we'll get four of them here. So we'll have four and you say select F. Then since we have the files now, we just need to run through them for each file in files. And we need to find the name out of it. So that would be file element and it's called name. That's this right here. And you have to get the value of the element. And we also want the integer, which is size right here. So because it's coming out as a string, we need to convert it to integer. And that is going to be the element size and the value of that element. So now we have name and size. 
and let's just write it out. So we'll say name, comma, size in bytes. Name, size. And if we run it, we see indeed that we see nothing. And why is that? Let's go back here. If you notice, I'm accessing the file element here. But up here, for instance, we had first customers and then customer. So that would be a way to solve this. So if we have here file and change this to files and first get the files element and then go through that files element for each of the file elements. And we see that they're displayed here. So now I just want to show you one more thing and that is how to get a single element out of this XML string. So and the way you get one element out is you simply say var and single file. So you notice the usefulness of var here. We can say var every time and vary what we get into the variable. So we are going to say, just as above here, from f in x doc to an elements, I could repeat this here, but that's kind of redundant. I can go directly to the file in that I use descendants because file is a descendant of the whole root node, so it'll find it instead of elements. So we have uh, descendants and then file, and then where, let's get the specific element, and that would be name. Let's say we want file2, the value of the element name, oops, equals file2, like that then select F. Now, this is going to give only one back, but it's still going to be a collection. To get one, you have to put all of this into quotes and say single or default. Then, once we have it, we can say single file, and that is the name and how many bytes. And so how are we going to get the name out of it? We're going to have to say single file element name value. And then the same thing, single file element size value. And that's going to come out as a string, but that's okay because we're just printing it here. So let's look at that, see if it works. And it does. It gets file two out and tells us the bytes. So in this lesson, you learned how to use link to get data out of an XML file and an XML string.